Well, what's good, electricians? Pimp your e bike. It's time to talk accessories next on Crisscrossed. Talk about some personal gear first, starting with the helmets. So I've got two different helmets I use, depending on uh, weather conditions. Uh, this is the first one helmet I ever got. This is the Thousand. It's a nice gray here, matte gray with a little white accent around there. Very thick helmet, and I use this in the winter. It's only got a couple of ventilation holes, so it doesn't get a lot of wind. And um, when I first got my 1.0 in the winter, this is the helmet I went with. Uh, a little bit warmer than your typical bike helmet, which looks like this, right, with all the ventilation holes in it. So uh, this is my second helmet I got. Just got this recently. Uh, this is a uh, Vict Goal helmet. It's got a uh, nice light in the back. It's USB rechargeable. Blinks and stuff for night riding. Uh, nicely ventilated for summer. And uh, it's got the sun visor here. It's got a really cool feature, though. It's got this. So here's what it looks like. But it's got this cool sun visor, basically. It snaps on. With magnets. And uh, covers your entire face, essentially. The top of your face. All your eyes, all around there. And if you wear glasses, you can even use this with glasses, right? So here's what that would look like. Pretty cool. So it really blocks the wind from your eyes. And, uh, Especially with, um, you know, if it's really cold out, uh, your eyes water up like when I do. This should be perfect. And again, it just snaps, uh, snaps right off, snaps back on with magnets. So it's a pretty cool uh, new helmet I uh, found. It's only 40 bucks, and um, just love the look of it. And uh, definitely going to uh, use it a lot this summer. But, um, and a personal gear has my gloves. So these are Grabarly gloves. Uh, they come in different colors. I got the blue to uh, match the white. There's a quick look at nice padding down here on the bottom. And uh, yeah, I wear these everywhere I go on the bike. Uh, those handles are kind of hard. Um, and, uh, help prevent blisters and uh, keep your hands smooth. Definitely wear bike gloves. So uh, that's what I got for, for personal stuff. Let's talk about the rest of the. Uh, stuff that's on the bike itself. All right, for storage options, I got the front frame bag and then the rear uh, Rock Brothers bag. Uh, let's talk about the front frame, uh, frame bag first. This is the Roz wheel. That's the name of the brand. It's got uh, two side pockets and then this uh, top one here for your phone. I think this even comes off. Yeah, it's just Velcro there. And um, helpful to have. Um, I use it sometimes, you know, maybe when I'm doing, uh, going somewhere with directions. I have the phone down here so I can see the directions almost. But um, that's the uh, the front frame bag. Debating whether or not I really need it um, because the storage in the Rock Brothers is so good. So a couple of good things about this Rock Brothers bag. Um, first of all, it's expensive. It's like over, over 100 bucks on Amazon, but it's got panniers. It's got a main uh, holding area here and it's got the cup holder. So um, I bought a cup holder originally, put it on the bike. Didn't need it after this. Um, kind of helps you do, you know, a couple things in one here. So I put all my water bottles back here under the seat and um, it does a great job that way. Uh, the storage area is pretty big. You know, you got plenty of room in here. I got the manual in here. I got extra gloves, a pair of sunglasses, some of my camera equipment. Nice little uh, Allen wrench tool as well. If you want to carry one of these, um, you know, go to Home Depot, Lowe's, wherever. I've got a couple of those I use. And um, yeah, it's really good. The panniers, you know, comes with a, uh, this is kind of a rain, a rain case for the bag itself. And I believe this goes all the way around the panniers as well. So the panniers are in here. And you can just pop these out. put stuff in here as well so uh, I know electric sends you panniers sometimes with the bikes but um, with the Rock Brothers uh, you can actually just uh, 
use them when you want to and store them when you don't. So really nice feature there. Um, just love the overall look of the Rock Brothers bag too. It just uh, attach it with the Velcro straps. Pretty easy. And um, again, it does a bunch of things for you. So it's plenty of storage. Maybe the only storage you need uh, on the bike. And um, really love that bag. Definitely money well spent. And uh, I mean, I'm going to have that for years. So that's going to be a kind of a staple of the bike in terms of the uh, you know main storage options out there. You may notice this little contraption here in my uh, back wheel. And uh, this is a fishing rod holder. That's right, um, I fish a lot and uh, I've turned this bike into a fishing rig. So it's a pretty cool tool. Take your fishing pole, slide it in, slam it down, and uh, there you go. So I've actually, these are called All Right uh, bike uh, fishing rod holders on Amazon. I just ordered a, another version of this with two of these and uh, I'm gonna put it on the back back rack here instead so that uh, the two holders are kind of on the side uh, the side of each wheel and I'm um, looking forward to that one so I can have two fishing poles not one um, on the bike so definitely one of my favorite options is this fishing rod holder just makes me want to use the bike more and go out there and find new ponds and lakes to uh, to cast from so you, know, you can roll your bike right up on the shore and, and uh, start fishing so pretty cool option Okay, next up is my new pedals. So these are Lixata pedals. On the 1.0, I had some Yasu folding pedals that I bought on Amazon. Actually, one of those broke, so I had to replace them again. Uh, but uh, for the 2.0, I went with the quick release. Um, these are on Amazon if they're about 35 bucks. And basically, you just um, you know, you screw the, uh, the main part in, push that down, pop out the, uh, the pedal right here. It's made of metal, so Nothing's really going to break. And it's about the same size as the uh, original electric pedals as well, the Wellgos, that uh, come with the bike that I really hate. So uh, to pop it on, you just push, kind of push it back. Yep, and there you go. You just push this back again, insert it, and it clicks in place. So uh, pretty cool. That's what they look like, called Lixada. Again, available on Amazon. Everything I'm showing you today is on Amazon. Okay, starting with the, the seat post area. So three things to show you here. Number one is this big Lufu lock. This is the same lock that uh, Electric sells. It's only it's not branded electric, it's big Lufu. I think the one they sell is 50 bucks. This one's 25. And um, it comes with, uh, you know, the, the bolts you can attach on here, but I had a hard time uh, trying to get both bolts into um, this lock case because the cases are really thin and you can't really fit your fingers in there to turn the screws. Nor can you get like a tool in there either. Uh, it's very hard. So I just used the Velcro straps it came with and you can see here it's pretty, uh, pretty secure. It's not going anywhere. And there's just a little rubber uh, holder here for the, uh, for the lock. And you get a set of keys with it. It came with four keys. So if you lose, I guess you're not gonna, uh, if, you, if you do lose one, you got plenty more to, uh, to use as well. Uh, next thing on the seat post um, is uh, the seat post itself. So this is the Connect. Uh, I did a whole video on this in terms of seat post. And uh, one of my favorite items on the bike as well. One of the most expensive too, but I'll tell you the price later. And uh, but just look at this shock absorption that it gives you. It's just, uh, it's, a, it's an amazing ride. This bike does not have rear suspension, but this kind of gives it rear suspension. Um, and uh, it's a really nice smooth ride when you put the connect on. 31.6 millimeter is the roundness. Um, it does slip a little bit, so when you sit on sometimes, so I may have to um, put some tape or something in there to keep it from uh, slipping a little bit. But uh, overall, a great piece of equipment that uh, I need. I need to have. It's definitely one of my must-haves. And of course, the Cloud Nine seat. Everyone knows about these. Um, nice and soft. Good looks. And now let's talk about lighting. So uh, you can see on the back here, I've got a, a Mylon X5 um, turn signal light. Turn it on here for you. There it goes. Um, 
So, uh, you know, I mainly use this at night or if I'm driving on the main road, even during the day. It is somewhat visible, but it's got lasers on here. And I'll show you a quick montage uh, with how this look, looks at night and how the front uh, headlight looks at night as well. But um, originally I had it above or uh, over here on the seat, but it kept hitting the coils here and kept kind of moving down. So I just put it on the seat post itself. Now the uh, now the lasers are not blocked by the bag, which was the initial problem. And um, even though you can't directly see it if you're directly behind the bike, it's still pretty visible, particularly at night, because it does kind of glow uh, from the back here, and you can see it from the side and even slightly above the uh, slightly above the bag as well. So it's not too bad there. Again. Uh, it, more, more lights on your bike make you more visible at night. It's just a safety thing. But this actually looks really cool. And I'm gonna do a night ride for you as well coming up. Over on the front, I've got the upgraded electric headlight that uh, finally came. Came maybe, uh, uh, came last week. So um, uh, maybe a week after I got my actual bike itself. But pretty good headlight. I tested it at night. I'll show you a quick montage of that in a second. But um, another good, uh, another good option as well. Pretty powerful. And then I've got this, um, what I call daytime running lights. Uh, so these are Asher lights. They're USB powered, and they just strap on with a little rubber clip here. Um, you know, these have like strobe lights on them. They blink. You can see them blinking there. So I'll use this during the day just to uh, provide some more visibility. You see a lot of ro road bikers with uh, a lot of these uh, strobe lights, and um, these are pretty cheap. It comes with four in a pack. You get two white and two red. And it comes with a couple different variations of the, the light itself. But here's a quick look at uh, how they look at night. Let's check this out. You can kind of see how bright it is. It goes pretty far. I mean, if you angle it up, you can like, I can hit that car down there. I'll show you. See that? This is the other light I put on. And this has got a strobe on it. It's got a couple different modes actually. And finally, moving up to the handlebars, we've got the Michel lights on the bike, the left one and the right one. You gotta buy these separately from Amazon, they're 20 bucks each. But um, I like them, A, number one, they look cool. I like the design, the sleek design, and uh, good visibility. So they kind of, they reach out over the handlebars. So if your arms are in the way, you know, you can, um, you still can see. And uh, with the added, originally I just had the left one on, but with the added right one, you definitely get more visibility when you're riding. Uh, I mean, I'm surrounded by cars all the time where I live, so that's why I have two um, two mirrors on the bike, just for the extra visibility that that brings. And uh, you know, depending on where you live, you may want to think about putting two on the bike as well. Let's see, I've got the uh, bike bell here. Just a pro, I think it's called pro bike bell on Amazon. Very simple one. Uh, just straps on with a rubber piece again. I got the Griffey phone holder, which I showed you in a previous video. Still one of my favorites. Uh, this is the Mylon control panel for the, the backlight there. Um, it's a, there's four buttons on it, one for the laser, one for the hazards, and then left and right turn signals here. And that just straps on. And these do kind of light up with a little red dot at night. You can't see it now because it's daytime, but um, uh, it does show you a little a little light there when it, when it comes on. So. And uh, yeah, that's the cockpit there. So I think that's it. That's a look at my bike. I think I have 12 or 13, maybe 14 accessories on it total. So let's see, we got the um, 
We got the rock the bag, rod holder two, three, four, five, six with the lock, seven with the pedals, eight with the frame bag, frame bag, nine and ten with the mirrors, eleven with the with the uh, bell, twelve with the phone holder, thirteen with the lights, and um, that, does, that doesn't really count too. But oh, the upgraded headlight too. That's fourteen. So fourteen accessories on my electric xp 2.0 hope you enjoyed that uh leave in the comments you know what do you have on your bikes that's different that uh maybe you think i should try or that you really love but uh you know, let me know uh, what you're thinking out there and uh again thanks for watching all the subscribers i've got a really cool uh uh night video coming up i'm gonna do and a special treat for you as well uh, i'm gonna do a little spoof on uh night rider the kit car so i hope you enjoy that one so keep an eye out for that uh, very soon. Thanks for watching. See you next time.